Hi guys, it's Miss Davia. I wanted to welcome you guys to a new month. It's February and everybody know that during February is Black History Month and we celebrate Black History Month by giving honor to our fallen heroes. Maybe in the war or maybe activists who fought for civil rights movements and those who made it possible for us for this generation to be able to walk amongst those we could never have walked amongst so here my lesson today for you is segregated no more this lesson will be focusing around the segregated schools back then that we weren't able to have classes with people people of color could have classes with the so-called black hair, well, blue hair, black eye concept of those who were in power back then. So my icebreaker for you is, does anyone know what year, what year did segregation end in public school? You can search it up and then come back and I'll just drop the answer in the video. According to history, Barbara Jones, was a young lady who decided that one day she has had enough of being segregated, being ill-treated, the inequality that they faced as black people back then. And she had a protest with other black students where she got up out of class and left the classroom well, as we know, we know it as a protest, but they did a walkout, a peaceful walkout where they got up and left the classroom because they wanted to be treated treated equally like the people, the black, the blue eyed, blonde hair concept. And they, she got up and left and we never really hear of her doing this, but we hear of her, um, She's the predecessor of somebody who d who did something similar. Uh, Ruby Ruby Bridges. She was the first black female to be escorted to school to a public school with four court marshals. That was something big in history, and everybody remember her, the, the young girl who changed history for black people. But they never really focused on Barbara Jones per se as to her ending segregation in school. So I wanted to focus on that for this lesson and give her honor because she deserves it. She is somebody who should be honored, who should be highlighted more, just as Martin, Martin Luther King, just as Rosa Parks, just as Harriet Tubman, just as every other civil rights activist that are out there because she stood for us for this generation so we could be able to sit behind a desk integrated with other races for us to be able to get the education we need she made it possible for us to have our education now so i wanted to highlight her because most people never really do and Throughout my lesson, there's an article that I will post in the video that I want you guys to look at, read, and there's a couple of questions that I want you to answer. If you feel like dropping them in the comments or via Instagram or via our Hope YouTube page, feel free to do so. So, yeah. Barbara Jones was that person who made it possible for our generation and for generations to come to be able to sit and experience what it's like to have a proper education so that's my lesson to you guys segregated no more was because of barbara jones never forget that name she deserves all the honor and all the praise just as every other civil rights activist out there so thank you guys